Okay, so it was getting a little confusing, so I figured I'd just make a video. But so you're saying we can remove the rod running along the top of the valve cover. So I was looking on here. Basically, I think it's the throttle is controlled from this from here, I'm assuming. I don't know why this shape I, I can't imagine what's on the car that connects to that but anyways i think if you push it forward that opens the throttle comes over here that goes forward which pulls this one down which opens the butterfly and then pulls this one this way and then this is the idle adjustment that the guy had set up uh, that doesn't work. So that's throttle open. And then there's the arm on the pump itself. That's throttle open, that's throttle closed. So I was under the impression this controlled all throttle right here. And then the butterfly on the intake was just there to provide some level of vacuum. But for what I'm reading on your guys' comments, you're saying that the throttle butterfly here is what controls engine RPM. Um, and But you're saying that I can remove this, but then the arm on the side of the injection pump wouldn't be pulling open if I removed this. Um, but then, so in here, there's two butterflies. There's one there. And then there's the, this is the stop. You can barely see it back there. But that's the emergency stop, I believe. So like that one clearly you want to keep. If you're if this thing if the throttle only runs off of the injection pump, and I I don't see why this butterfly valve would be needed because you could just leave this open and then run the throttle with the injection pump. Um, but if you guys are saying this is the throttle basically and you don't need the arm and the injection pump, so that's kind of confusing. But if, I, if all I needed was the injection pump, basically I just take all of these off and then just flip this arm around to wherever I need it and just run one right from the throttle pedal right to there. And then this arm, this would be stop forward, which I can hear stuff happening when it goes forward. Can't hear anything happening when you go backwards. So that makes sense that that's the stop. So I could flip that arm around and like pull back on it probably for an engine stop, which is cool. That's, I can figure that out. Um, what else is on here? Three engine mounts is enough. Cool. Thank you. And the part numbers are good. Control the throttle from there. Yeah, that's true. If all, if we just need to do the butterfly, but I think, we need that hook over, hook over on the uh, injection pump. Same there, but I think this is the idle adjustment, or at least that's what the previous owner said. The butterfly is the only thing you're concerned with as far as throttle. Right. Yes, but I would lose idle adjustment. Um, which the idle adjustment would be cool, but like you said, it's not 100% needed. But I think that that arm on the injection pump still needs to be pulled. And then grill knob has four positions, stop, run, glow, start. Which glow plugs to, I think these are the updated glow plugs. Um, they're the series glow plugs. And all I have to do is put 12 volts on here and it's glowing, I'm pretty sure. And then I don't know the actual function of the glow plugs. Is it just on a timer? Like it glows for 10 seconds or something and then automatically shuts off? Or is it actually like know how hot it's getting? Um, so it's just a timer. I could easily set up a timer or just time it manually to glow it. Key turns on electrics and unlock steering. Okay, that makes sense. One thing you should check is if the governor system holds a vacuum. If it doesn't, the injection pump will deliver too much fuel. So that is this tube, I believe is what you're talking about. It goes from the injection pump to the throttle body, um, which 
in here, there's just that, there's that circle there where that's the Venturi type port. So even with throttle open, it's still, you know, this Venturi is still happening there, throttle close is still happening there. So that makes me think that this butterfly, there's another reason why I don't think this butterfly valve would be needed. Like I said, I could be wrong. I'm getting confused. You guys know these stuff better than I do. But um, so that pulls a small vacuum on this. And you're saying test that it holds vacuum. So I believe you're wanting me to remove it here to, and pull vacuum on this to make sure the injection pump is holding a vacuum. I think that's what you're asking. I could do that. But uh, yeah, let me know what I'm missing with this whole throttle thing. And I think this whole plate is bent. Like, I think I feel like it should be flat. I could be wrong there too, but um, this one I know is bent. It's like, I think this should be flat so that when you go like that, it opens. I think that's open. Yeah. So when you go like this, it opens the emergency stop. And then when it's down, you can do this. But right now, with this bent, you can go full throttle and it's and the emergency stop is still closed. So you want that to open. But yeah, let me know what I'm still missing. Thanks for your help, by the way, up till now.